OK. So how do we do sine tan inverse? So again, sine tan inverse. We're going to work from the inside out. Can't really do anything with 1. Can we figure out the tan inverse of 1? Yes, we know the constraint of the angle has to be between negative pi halves and positive pi halves. Because if you look at the first quadrant, remember, tangent of an angle is the y coordinate over x coordinate. You guys should get pretty familiar with this pretty quickly. The only y over x that's going to produce 1 in the first quadrant is the what angle? Pi over 4, or 45 degrees. The other angle is going to be way over here. Right? The reflect reflection would be negative square root of 2 over 2 common negative square root of 2 over 2. Right? You guys agree? But we don't even need to figure out what that angle is. We don't even care. Because does that angle fall within the constraint of tangent? No. So we don't even care about that angle. We just know it doesn't even fall within this constraint. So who cares about finding what that angle is? Even though it's really not that hard. If that's 4 pi over 4, this would be 5 pi over 4, right? Or 225 degrees. OK, so the tan inverse of 1 is pi over 4. So now we have the sine of pi over 4. Can we figure out the sine of pi over 4? Question, Libby. Where? OK, when is, look at, <laughs> Libby. Tangent is the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Look behind you at that unit circle. What is the only angle where you take the y coordinate over the x coordinate and you get 1? Tell me which color triangle. You have three options, red, blue, or green. Wait, where, where what? The y coordinate over the x coordinate is equal to 1. The blue. What is the angle of the blue triangle? Uh, 45 degrees. Or pi over 4. We're going to be using pi over 4. Oh, okay. But it's the same thing as 45 oh, degrees. Yeah. OK? Does that make sense? Is that where you got lost? Yeah. OK. Question? Yeah. 